The Tick is full of huge, wild, crazy, absurd characters. <sighs> Seriously, Arthur, where do you find these people? Dark alleys. Work. The Tick and Arthur's costumes are really taking the original design in the comic book and just three-dimensionalizing it. Beat! Arthur's costume has always been this white onesie and big moth wings. But in this show, it's been reconceptualized as this highly technological suit that he doesn't even understand. Relax, kid, I'm saving your life! There are quite a few other superheroes who are in this show. And their costumes were just out of this world. Superior is a classic superhero. He flies and has a cape and all of those things. So we've had some fun with him. Basically, it's a gift to the 13-year-old version of myself to dress up like this. So that's Superior. You think killing the boss just puts you at the top of the pyramid? Yeah. Miss Lint is such a badass, if you will. She has the black tailored look. When I put it on, it just like completely changes the way that I walk and the way that I feel. Also, I get to switch out different contacts and it becomes very easy to get into this character. That was overkill. My thought exactly. No, I'm saying it was this guy called Overkill. Overkill, I think, is the funniest to me. He's just strapped with shotgun bullets and he doesn't carry a shotgun. It's just good to always have a backup round of shells. That's not an accident, you know? So it's like the details and levels of jokes going on is even there in the costumes. Overkill! Shut your nonsense, hole, you big blue yeti. He seems in a good mood. All these characters are living in a comedy, which means we get to have fun with them. That's where it all starts, with Ben and with uh, these characters that he has invented. So that's been really, really a lot of fun. Whoa, secret face! Don't talk about my face.